for, uh, for the case that I chose, uh, it's a case that is uh, simple in some ways, but um, I was uh, sort of proud or happy about some of the solutions I came up with. So that's why it was uh, interesting to me. So here it comes. Okay, so this is a 20-year-old male with a history of meningitis referred from an outside hospital for evaluation. Uh, he was uh, treated for this episode of meningitis with IV antibiotics, and uh, he did uh, very well, had a full recovery. In taking a history, uh, the guy had a history of a fall at age 14. He had a concussion and hospitalization that was in Mexico. Uh, there were no known sequelae at the time. However, he had had a clear drainage from his right nose that was exacerbated by exertion, and he had had three episodes of meningitis. This was his third episode. Um, his endoscopic and clinical examination were normal. He did have right-sided clear nasal drainage that was beta-2 positive. So here are some scans. So these are axial scans uh, moving from uh, top to bottom. And I think you can see that uh, in his uh, uh, right, the posterior table, the frontal sinus, that there is uh, an area of uh, a bulge and an, uh, potentially some dehiscence there that goes away into sort of a normal ethmoid uh, sinus. Uh, on the coronals, you can see it uh, here on the patient's right where it hangs down from uh, the posterior table. Uh, anterior fossa. And if you look at that, um, you know, he's got, he's got plenty of room really to do a draft three uh, and you sort of have to th uh, think about how you might uh, do this. So how do you approach this case uh, with those films? <clears throat> you do an endoscopic, do you do an open? <clears throat> this was, uh, this case was about 10 years ago. Uh, <clears throat> Do you repair it? Do you obliterate the sinus? You know, probably in the old days, maybe people would have obliterated, but you know, I felt that a repair would be uh, appropriate. And then, what instruments do you use for this case? And so that was kind of um, uh, the, a little bit of the dilemma because reaching up there and putting uh, uh, and manipulating that area and putting a graft in. And in fact, what I wanted to do was to put a bone graft in. At the time, I was a lot of people, myself included, were putting bone grafts intracranially for some of these CSF leaks or in, more commonly for encephalocele's. It's probably not necessary as we've sort of subsequently found out. So I asked for help from a biomedical engineer. Uh, I asked if he would bend some instruments for me. So I knew that I wanted to bipolar up there and I knew that it might be a stretch. So uh, I had him take a regular bipolar, a uh, straight, you know, uh, insulated uh, bipolar and bend them and I sort of got as my guide now, one of the curved, a curved suction from a, uh, the storage from the sinus set. I bent um, a duckbill uh, going in each direction and a whirly bird uh, going in each direction from an ear set. So I kind of uh, cannibalized an ear set for a couple of these instruments, which <clears throat> my nurse was more than happy to allow me to do. And so, and I also did a, uh, a gently curved pick. So these were the instruments that I had bent uh, for that case. Um, Interestingly, I, haven't, I hadn't really thought about this case for a long time, and I didn't have any pictures of the instruments. So I was sort of ravaging through my office to try to find them. And as it turns out, I have sort of a box of like instruments and things that are given to me. In fact, it was in there, so I was pretty happy. So intraoperatively, this was the uh, case. Uh, this was uh, draft three that I did. And you can see on the right side the defect here. And that it was uh, leaking a little bit of uh, fluorescein. I put some fluorescein in. And so what I did was I bipolared it with that uh, curved bipolar uh, and uh, uh, drilled it down a little bit. And I got myself a bone graft. And I sort of tucked the bone graft into there. And then I put uh, two, uh, some uh, free graft of mucosa uh, in and on that and also on the, uh, the uh, exposed bone as well. And that was it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>